Hello adventurers and welcome back to another thrilling installment of the vlog. I'm Caleb, Lisa's fiance, and I'm really terrible at intros and today I'm going to be explaining to you what you need to take with you on a two-week camping trip in the winter. A few weeks ago I got back from a field training exercise or FTX called Warrior Peak and it's really amazing what you can stuff into two bags. It's pretty much your entire life with clothes and equipment. So enjoy the vlog. Here we go. We'll start with the Extreme Cold Weather Clothing System, or Equix. There's seven layers to this, and I need to point out that if you wear all seven layers, and it's not 50 below zero Fahrenheit, you will probably overheat. So do not wear all seven layers unless you are moving and active, and it is at least... 50 below zero Fahrenheit. So there are seven levels. The first right here is your silk top and silk bottom. They're basically long johns. Level two, you have your waffle top and waffle bottom. They will definitely keep you warm and we call them waffle tops and waffle bottoms because of the square grid shape in them. Level three, you got your fleece jacket, also known as your brown bear. Level four up here, this is your windbreaker wind jacket. Level five, you have your cold weather soft shell top and bottom. Level six, your extreme cold slash wet weather top and bottom. And then level seven, parka top, parka bottom. Here you have additional items to your Equix. On the top left are the VB boots or the snow boots. I'm never going to wear them unless it gets stupid cold outside, 50 below zero extreme temperatures. What we usually do is we wear the cold weather boots on the top right and I prefer to put the boot gaiters inside them. Down below those are the wool socks, cold weather socks. I wore those and then put my cold weather boots on with the boot gaiters in them. My feet stayed extra warm. Likewise, you have wool gloves and cold weather insulated gloves. I wore both pairs. My hands stayed extra warm. Up next is the sleeping system. So down there on the bottom is the summer sleeping bag. Right above it is the winter sleeping bag. It's a little more isolated. On its left is the Whoopi or poncho liner. It's rolled up in the sack that it came in. And that's kind of like, it's wearable. It's kind of like a sleeping bag sack almost. Um, it'll keep you warm. The last couple days of the FTX, we came back and we slept in our gym because we were technically still out in the field. We made a withdraw from the field so we couldn't go back to our barracks so we ended up sleeping in the gym and i only slept in my whoopee because it was light enough but also warm enough even in a climate controlled environment with the heat on you know and then down here sorry about my boots sticking in but here is the bivy cover it's mostly waterproof you know, for when it rains, it gets super wet in the ground, damp, snow, whatever. Doesn't completely protect it from it, but for the most part, it does. So how it works is, obviously, there's the feet. I apologize for the limited space in my room. This is what I got to work with. But this is the head, and this is the top. And this is like, there's a pliable wire in here, so you can adjust it to however you want. My head's kind of big, so I need to do a little more adjusting on it. But you have your adjacent zippers left and right. And what you do is you take, well, this is personal preference. What I did for the most part was I put the summer sleeping bag in the winter sleeping bag inside the bivy cover inside my whoopee and i stayed off the ground moisture stayed out 99 percent of the time so i was 
pretty warm and comfortable out there in the field. What I don't have is a sleeping mat. And a sleeping mat is important. It's kind of paper thin. It's self-inflatable. It's not much space between you and the ground, but it's still sufficient enough for when it snows because you do not want to sleep with just these items. A bivy cover will not protect you from if you're camping out on the bare ground and it's snowing. It'll get in and you'll be hypothermic and it's not going to go well. So this is the sleeping system for the most part, minus the sleeping mat, which I should have soon. But every layer to keep yourself off the ground when it's cold and wet helps. Gear. Up on your top left is the rucksack. And if you roll everything up and stuff it in just right, it should hold at least 35 pounds inside it. Right below it, right here, is the assault bag for short-term trips to the range or just stuffing extra things inside it for your convenience. Got a helmet, bulletproof vest, stuff sack for the sleeping system. You have the fighting load carrier or flick. Attached is the IFAC uh, improvised first aid kit. That's what it stands for. Basically carries a wrapping bandage and a tourniquet inside it for field dressing whenever someone suffers a serious injury. And then over here on top is the wet weather laundry bag. Keeps all your clothes dry in case it rains or moisture happens to get into your bag. Should waterproof all your clothes and all your equipment. And then below it is the A bag or alpha bag and it's green duffel packs extra stuff now for hygiene obviously bring the basics deodorant toothbrush toothpaste bring other things that are convenient for you like chapstick maybe lotion probably not at night if you need to walk around a little bit, bring a red lens flashlight or a headlamp with a red lens so that you're able to see, but people aren't really able to spot you from super long distances because for us, white lights are a no-go at night. Now, when you are camping for long periods of time and you don't have access to showers, what do you do? Simple. You go out and you buy field wipes. Field wipes are basically slightly bigger, more heavy duty baby wipes. In the summer, if you're camping, it's gonna be hot, humid, you're gonna be sweaty and disgusting. And you'll have to find some place to wipe your whole self down. Now for the winter, you don't need to do as much. And whether it's summer or winter, there's gonna be people around, you're probably not gonna find a place with a lot of cover where you can just Go off by yourself and take care of your business. So you don't need to do that much in the first place in the winter. All you have to do is just wipe down your pits and other places. And that's it. Just apply deodorant, brush your teeth. For me, I had to bring disposable razors and shaving cream because I had to keep a clean shaven face within regulations. But yeah, that's about it. As for clothes... You're probably not going to be changing every day. I wore the same clothes for a few days at a time and then just changed out whenever I started to feel really gross and disgusting or they got wet. So, yeah, if you're going camping in the winter or even in the summer for long periods of time, you're going to rough it with your clothes and your equipment. Get back to nature. And that's it. If you like what you saw, then you know what to do. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, and we'll see y'all next time.